Yes, the school district here has looked into these allegations and says it has taken action. Still, parent Kyla Posey says she can't believe a principal thought separating students according to race was a good idea. We've lost sleep trying to figure out, like, why would a person do this? Kyla Posey says she was stunned when she learned about classes segregated by race at Mary Lynn Elementary last year, a practice she says was put in place and condoned by Principal Sharon Briscoe. First, it was just disbelief that I was having this conversation in 2020 with a person that looks just like me, a black woman. It's segregating classrooms. You cannot segregate classrooms. It's You can't do it. Posey says she found out the school was putting black students in two separate classes with two separate teachers. The white kids were placed in six classes with six different teachers. The parent says she found this out when she let Briscoe know she wanted her child placed in the classroom of a teacher she thought would be a good fit. Posey says the principal said that wouldn't work. She said that that's not one of the black classes. And I immediately said, what does that mean? Um, I was confused. I asked for more clarification on I was like, we have those in the school? And she proceeded to say that, yes, I have decided that um, I'm going to place all of the black students in two classes. Posey says she insisted her child be placed in a class with white students. She says Briscoe explained her child would be isolated. And I explained to her she shouldn't be isolated or punished because I'm unwilling to go along with your illegal and unethical practice. The Posies recorded a call with an assistant principal where they complained about the segregated classes. The administrator confirmed it was the principal's decision and seemed to offer an explanation why the classes were set up this way. Well, we have more black kids, too, and then, and then some of them are in a class because of the services that they need. Kyla Posey has filed this discrimination complaint with the U.S. Department of Education's Office of Civil Rights. Her attorney, Cherie Shields, says what's going on at Mary Lynn is a violation of Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964 say that you cannot uh, treat one group of people differently based upon race, and that is what is going on at Mary Lynn. Hey, everybody, this is Charlie Kirk, founder and CEO of Turning Point USA. If you liked this video, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Turning Point USA.